With the new chapter of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex on the horizon and the excitement in the fandom is through the roof, we still have a few things we still need to discuss and talk about in regards to Ida and her omnipotence ability. So you know it's theory time and you know I'm about to talk a bunch of nonsense that sounds nice, but you know the motto, just let me cook. As I know you guys remember, chapter 76 left us with a huge bombshell in regards to Samurai and Sadara and how they weren't affected by Ida's ability, the ability that we once thought was captivity that we later found out to be omnipotence, a divine ability that comes from the god Utsusuki. Any person that casts their eyes on Ida falls in love and falls captive to her charm like Delta, Shikamaru, Sai etc. But there was only two people in the series that were completely unaffected by her ability of omnipotence and it was Sadara and Sumire. In chapter 76, Shikamaru also stated that Sadara and Samurai will become their only hope in defeating Ida and taking her ability down. So the pressure was on at that very moment. After chapter 76 and also chapter 80, where Ida used her ability of omnipotence to make Kawaki's desires a reality, switching roles of Boruto and Kawaki, we saw again that Sadara and Samurai were completely unaffected. So this occurrence left the fandom in speculation with everybody trying to figure out why Sadara and Samurai were unaffected by Ida's ability. A lot of people speculate that it's because of Sadara's origin of being the Uchiha clan that roots back all the way to Idra Utsusuki, or Samurai being worked on by her father using Kaguya's forbidden jutsu on her back that connected her to New Way. As much as I love those ideas and theories, I'm starting to think it's been what we originally thought. I think after Ida unintentionally used omnipotence in the past that made everybody her cat left her in a place of suffering that caused her to long true love and true friendship. I think her desire of deeply wanting a friend, a genuine friend, is why Sadara and Samurai are unaffected. And before you guys say this doesn't really make that much sense, kinda does. Let me cook. I have some proof. So I have no choice to start with what Momoshiki said after witnessing Ida's ability. He stated that Amando didn't understand Ida's ability and he understands why he thought her ability was charm, but in reality, her ability was omnipotence. If you're asking, this means Amando, the creator of Ida, doesn't understand how her ability works and Ida herself doesn't understand her ability. This was covered in chapter 80 when Ida flew to meet Boruto before Boruto and Sasuke left the village. Ida stated that something similar happened before by the time she realized that everyone became her captive. Ida doesn't understand how her ability works. She doesn't understand she has the divine power of a god within her allowing her to make her deepest desires manifest just like she did for Kawaki. With that being said, there is a gray area that comes to Ida's character because we don't know her backstory. So we don't know how long Ida has had this ability. So from the first time she used it up to the time she was locked away by Ishiki. So we have no idea if she secretly desired to have friends and have a true lover. The reason this is important because you don't understand the type of burden that Ida carried all these years. Having the ability to turn everybody into your yes men probably gets annoying and probably gets really lonely after a while. It might have been fun for the first month or two, but when you can't genuinely connect with people when you're craving it, it becomes very frustrating. I believe when Ida was shut down, well technically shut down and placed in her chamber where we see her, when Code unleashed her, when she was in that remote viewing state, I think Ida was desiring for a love, which is A. Kawaki, and for true friends, which is Samurai and Sarada. And I know you guys are going to be like, hold up, that doesn't make sense because how would she know Sadara and Samurai? And I think you guys forget about her remote viewing. If Ida was truly in love with Kawaki, that means she's been watching them since the Kawaki arc, the Ishiki arc, all the way to the start of the Code arc. That means she was watching everybody Kawaki interacted with, all the people that helped him in his journey to become a greater person. So that means Boruto, that means Himawari, that means Samurai, and that means Sadara. And to even prove that Ida is familiar with who Samurai is, she calls Samurai by a name that even Boruto 
that was in Academy with her didn't even know. So that proves she's been watching them for a while. And it may sound childish, but you also have to remember Ida is a 16 year old girl. This is the same girl that tapped into her omnipotence ability for attention and made people her captive. 9 out of 10, like I said, what she probably wanted was just some attention. But since she had this godlike ability, it turned into just turning everybody into, oh my God, I see her, I love her type situation. But that type of power in the hands of a 16 year old girl, silly decisions and silly desires will come up no matter what. And just like how she wanted Kawaki, she deeply desired genuine friendship, which is Sumire and Sadara. Look at it like this. If you've ever been in a relationship and you're a girlfriend and you've been dating your girlfriend for a while, what's probably one of the most important things to her is meeting your family, meeting your friends, and praying that they like her. So of course, Ida, being in love with Kawaki, wanted to have a mutual friendship with Kawaki's friends. She wanted them to adore her in a genuine way, not falling in love. She didn't have to worry about Boruto because Boruto's already Utsusuki. The only ones that were left was, Mus was Misuki, Chocho, Shikadai, Inojin, Sumire, and Sadara. But for her, she wants to interact more with girls as a female who wants to hang out with men all day. And I also think that's why there was such an emphasis on Sarada when she said, let's be ordinary friends to Ida. If you go back to that panel, that's a huge panel of her saying that. Like the writer wants you to know that's what's going on. Even in Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, we see Ida is still very unaware of how her ability works. You see, she feels guilty because she switched the roles of Kawaki and Boruto and ruined Boruto's life. Now she's questioning if she's using her ability or not. She questions Sadara and Sumire at the beginning of the chapter if they are truly under her influence because she's not sure anymore. She doesn't know how her ability works. So it's not that hard for her desire to manifest with omnipotence. And there's a a lot of stuff we don't know about omnipotence. But at the end of the day, Sumire and Sador are key. No, I don't think it's because Sadara is a Uchiha or Sumire is connected to Kalgia. I just think Ida wanted a friend, female friends at that. People she can connect to, vent to, and talk about girl stuff. That's it. And boom, that's my theory. Ida just wanted to have friends. But like I said earlier in the video, until we get Ida's backstory, we really don't have that much to wiggle around and play around with. So for now, that's what I'm gonna go with. But like I said, new chapter dropping, what, in the next couple days? Just to see where the story goes and continue on this wild ride. And I'm gonna catch you guys next time.